Hi, how are you? It's Chin. We're going to another program with many parts. So this one we call it the essential sports warm up, stretching, and recover. So if you love to do all these popular sports, which is pretty much cardio, cardio, you go to the gym, lifting weights, and swimming, all this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You really should do some warm-up. You have to do some stretching to improve the range of motion, all that stuff, and also recover from the tight muscles, right? And uh, so I'm going right to it. Um, you can see um, I love the, I'm not doing commercial, but this is actually my choice because I have a terrible bunion. So if I keep wearing those uh, tight sneakers, my feet are going to get worse and worse. So the toe separate is so good. Because guess what? It also helps with balance. You see what I'm just doing, right? I also can get a lot of nice range of motion for my whole foot and toes because they are also important. So the most important part, doesn't matter if you're riding bike, running, like I say, uh, rocket sports, whatever, it's actually your spine because we're upright, right? So with a lot of running and shock absorb. So if we don't loosen up and get in the body, your core muscles strong to support your body, we can get shorter and shorter, right? And also compression, so that we call a high impact exercise. To um, counter the high impact exercise, you know, like what the antidotes, right? How you fix it is actually, you have to warm up before, stretch after, right? The stretch after also that is recover. But how? So I'm gonna show you. Today we're gonna to just focus on this is the part one. So today I'm gonna to show you how to warm up your spine and uh, very quickly. So I'm, and also how to strength stretch out your foot, calf, and hamstring. Okay, so right now there's part two coming, so keep following. Okay, nice and tall. You see on five checkpoint, if this is the first day, it's okay. And I'm going to put the end screen what five checkpoint is the proper posture. So you can find your first responder. It's true name is transverse abdominal muscles. Okay, so now I'm nice and tall. The spine has basic three parts, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. I'm going to release their tension being upright all the time, which will make us look so good, right? So inhale. Let's make friends. Inhale, exhale, I gentle nod my head. So I start ready for the cervical vertebrae, your neck. And soften the breastbone. Exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm getting the upper air roll. So I'm getting the external bend, the six pack flex. I'm going to the lower thoracic spine. There are 12 vertebrae there. So inhale. And I pull my tummy in to slowly open that lumbar area. There are five lumbar vertebrae, so little by little. Every time you exhale, see if you can feel one of them open. So you gotta be a very patient with your body because it's your tool. You really want to get to know so well. So five breath here, okay. Next joint is your hip socket. So inhale, you can see I flex my inner hip socket. I fold my body halfway, put your hands down. So that's easy to say. You say, okay, I'm not down right up here. It's, it's okay. Park your arm here. So if it's really hard for you, that's me. You have to keep the commitment practice. You will get there. Okay, that's all. That's just need commitment. But it's not easy, but that's okay. Life is full of challenge. If we can take the challenge, we come above. So you're gonna rib cage on the quadriceps, so park a little bit. Okay, ready? We're going to deep, deep squat all the way down, right? Guess what? Our body is designed to do this. You say, people say, not my body. That's okay, yours too. It just needs to practice. Oh, so why is this? I'm stretching my knee fully. I stretch my Achilles, so my heel is down. I get a really nice stretch in the lower back and you can hug yourself, right? So sometimes people want to do this way, that's fine. But this is the true 
deep squat, okay? Because it's um, so you can really get the knee and the hip socket nice release, okay? So now, of course, if you can't do that, put your hands down, your heels up. We'll have to start somewhere, but you have to do it. If you don't do it, it's always a wishful thinking, okay? So right here. Now, the next thing we do, okay? So right here, right? You can be here. Next thing we do, spread your toes out, open your knee side. You can put your hands on the floor. Oh, I can talk to your inner thigh, palm down. And this is enough for you to stay here. I would like you to just keep focus on the, your back or straight. So if you're right here, that's a good beginning, okay? Keep watching the video. I'm gonna show you the complete. Some days slowly come up. You're gonna complete your pelvis upright. So my sit bone is right touching my Achilles, my heel, and I strengthen the arch of my foot. It had to be so strong. So it here is a, it's a nice, you can see I'm struggling a little bit, and you can see it's a nice strengthening, right? Hello, you tell me first respond, the body's upright. I'm gonna caress my knee. You say, oh, hello, my knee is fine, inhale. I'm going to rotate my torso a little bit, so it's thoracic spine. So I'm changing that balance a little more. So this is the full picture. When you become advanced, okay, don't rotate your head. You're going to contract external on the right side. This is my right side. To rotate your thoracic spine to the left, try to open this inner side a little bit. So my right knee and left shoulder create this Nice opening, so soft, comes in. And put your heel down. You're gonna slowly push down. Tummy, keep push down, inner side, pelvic floor. The muscle in the front, you're already doing nice sit-ups, goes up. The back energy is going down, so you go like this. The front goes up, back goes down. You arrive. That's all we're gonna do. So if you say, but it's not easy, or that's too easy, it doesn't matter do them, right? So if it's hard, review the video again, okay? I'm gonna go into the next part. I'm stretching your foot and the calf and the hamstring for today. Next week, we're gonna talk about the quadricep because there's many muscles right here, right? I, I'm making it really simple for you. Those are the essential ones. And if I go deep, the video will be very, very long, right? But then it's got too much information. So I try to keep it short, essential, the most important, if you can do this, you have to warm up. And that's the warm up is also part of like a stretch, okay? So here we go. When you get ready, you put your shoes on, you go outside, right? I'm using inside to show you because it's easier for me to demonstrate, okay? Um, that counter is a tree or the back side of your car or a bench or anything you can find, just be creative, right? I'm not gonna go too far. So I'm facing this fake tree right here. Okay, I'm standing nice and tall. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull my right leg up first. So right here, I'm put my right foot up. So my whole foot is against the tree trunk. Body upright, okay? So now you say, I'm not gonna, I'm not, so keep it a little lower, it's okay. The most important thing is keep your knees straight. Little by little, ready, nice and tall first, first responder. You're gonna bend your knee first. You send the energy out heel and pull the hip back. So you're gonna feel the energy of your leg got elongate. Inhale, exhale, three. You can do four to six times, just talk to it. That's the first movement. Second one, after you bend your knee, you flat back forward, one. See my back nice and straight, okay? We don't wanna do wishful thinking. That's, that's hunch forward and stretch your back. Don't do that. So if you say, I can only go over like a half an inch. We, we start from there. Inhale, exhale, right? We're not greedy. Start small and gradually you get there. And that's when the gratitude and appreciate come in because you work to get there. Okay, so ready? You go third part, I'm going to turn and grab for my ankle. You say, no, I can't. That's okay, put your hands on your thigh because the important thing is I want you to rotate the torso. One, inhale, 
Exhale, I'm going to bring the left shoulder to the right knee. Keep pull the right sit bone back, so I'm going to feel the bicep for more. Inhale, exhale again, bicep for more. Last one. And the bicep for more. So if your calf is really tight, Kili, you already feel a lot of stretch here, okay? So now I'm going to put that leg down, shake it out a little bit, or take a couple steps in place. Or we'll, we'll just don't, don't shake crazy, right? So you're going to just release and let it recover. Okay, inhale. Guess what? Other leg comes up. So that's, this is my left leg. Okay, engage your abdominal heels on the tree trunk. The first thing you do is send your pelvis nice and even. I'm pulling this one back. The knee, okay, the arch is lifted on the leg. It's, you're rooting down. So you spiral the energy down so you have a good balance here. Inhale, exhale, three, and four. Okay, ready? Second movement, I'm going to flex my body forward. So your leg and body is like a heart cover book. It close, right? The cover book and the back jack, it comes together. Exhale. And exhale, keep high. Enjoy or hear the muscles screaming at you. So you don't want your body screaming at you. That's not a good place, right? So I start make friends. So ready? Like I say, you can put your hands on your thigh. Keep your hip back. If you're flexible, if you're flexible, so I grab hold your thumb down, okay? And you ready? Rotate. See, I'm rotating the body. Not your pelvis. If you rotate, probably my fall. Shoulder, my right shoulder to the left knee too. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. So that's the third movement for today, right? So just three, so it's easy to remember. That's why essential, the most important part. Now we're gonna stretch the inner side a little bit. So you're going to, we squeeze the tush so it's laterally rotated. Can you see my toes pointing out? Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my foot to that tree trunk again. Slightly forward, so from the corner of your eye, you see your leg. Don't put back there. It's not good for your hip socket. Okay, so ready? Your body lined up with the supporting leg, okay? So right here, so adjust yourself. It's your body. Get to know it. Inhale, exhale, arch foot lifted. The left arch, right? So knees open, don't drop in. That's not good for your knee, right? Inhale, if you want to run, you're going to have a really good knee. And two, inhale. Exhale, three. I keep my hands here to keep the lateral rotation, right, throughout. And exhale. Okay, now you're ready. Second movement, you lift this arm up or hold behind your hip. And flex from the hip in one. It's not how far you can go. It's how well you can maintain the neutral spine. Flex from this hip socket, not the thoracic spine. So it's like hot cover book again. Goes right, hot cover book. And return, last one. And exhale, and return, okay? Take your leg off, shake it out a little bit. Because the fascia doesn't want to come back too fast. So you give it a little time. And walking in place properly. Don't, it's not the heel down, right? I'm going to do the same thing the other side. So I'm going to turn around. You see um, my left leg's up. So first thing you do is what? Laggly rotate, right? Nice and tall. Keep the legs so you can, you can tell how long is your leg, right? Then you just pick your foot right up. I don't put on top this time. Inhale, exhale, one. So you can see my knees diagonal forward, two. I keep, I push against the tree trunk so I'm getting nice calf stretch, two, three. And now four, reaching out, hold your head. Scapula is down. You're gonna flex from the hip socket. So you see this, and not too far. One, and return. Inhale, exhale, two. If your arm straight is the third position, and reach into your toes, three. Don't touch your toes, reach to the toes. You create a huge stretch for inner thigh. If you want, you can hold on to your ankle. Depend, all depends why? What level you be, what condition your body can be. Take your leg off, shake it out. 
So that's <coughs> your leg stretch from the inner side to the hamstring. And one last thing. Okay, so here we go. Your calf and your toes. Okay, stretch your calf, body forward, one straight line. Up over on the big toe. Again, so kind of a little push up, up over. You see why I love these shoes? Because I can talk to <laughs> many parts that's involved in the running and up on the big toe. And again, so I'm leaning my body for one straight line, right? Can you see the top of my head and the back heel? The energy is connect up over, stretch out the ankle. Let me show you one more time. Bend my elbow, hollow your tummy, and go. So this, of course, you can be a wall, the side of your car, the tree trunk. You can just do one hand if the tree is a little skinny, right? Just do one hand. And that's all you need. You don't, right? Hopefully you have a really good balance already because you've been, you were athlete, right? Everybody calls themselves athlete, um, <laughs> but not well round. <laughs> so put everything together. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just trying to give you more things to think about because this body is amazing. So get to know your body. That will help you right? improve your passion of exercise. If you don't like to exercise, learn the detail. Hope that will spark your energy, uh, uh, spark your curiosity and create passion. This is simple stuff. Okay. It's not a choreography, dancing or jumping down from the, the platform, dive into the water. So take your time. Even you do that, Right? If you do that, you know how much you need to do. I know you program ready, you have flexibility, strength, everything. And in the air, spiral, tumbling. It's amazing. So if you see all that, or if you're one of them, congratulations. I love to use the body properly. Don't, do, don't go too extreme, right? Because you do have to care this body. So you can what? Everything is what? Prolonged, sustainable. Remember, sustainable. Become very fit when you are 90 or 100. So you don't want to lose any parts already. Okay, take good care. Enjoy your week.